Hello, and thank you so much for joining me for another exciting episode. This is Maxi Limit. iOS 14 has been out for a quite while now, and most of you want me to um, show you how my battery um, life during the day performs and how many battery lives I have uh, left during the day. I will show you in this video how to set up your, uh, your iPhone properly so you don't waste battery uh, during the day. Uh, as you know, with iOS 14, we have uh, the new um, widget here. And I see, as you see, it's very important for you to set whatever you need most. It's very, very, very important. Uh, don't just put any random widget here because you just want to, but use the most that you want from this widget. Okay? Like for me, for instance, I only put my uh, weather my calendar my battery life some of my pictures and most importantly news that is all that i put on my widget page um i'm gonna go through the settings and show you how you can save tons of battery during the day which is very very important so first thing we need to see is we need to go to settings. One to be using is always try to use Wi-Fi whenever you can, because you know the uh, if you're using your, I mean, you will tell me that you have tons of uh, cellular data, but the thing is, the Wi-Fi consume less uh, battery because it's most of the time close to where you are. As of the cellular data, the tower can be so far away from you. So whenever you can use the Wi-Fi, I highly recommend you to use it, right? That being said, Bluetooth, I always leave it on. Sometimes I can turn it off. It's not that important, but if you want, you can always turn it off. Something that you are not, any application or any function of this iPhone that you are not using regularly should be turned off to save battery life, right? Uh, the most important stuff here is notification. Notification is something that whenever you, you have anything coming in into your phone, the screen will light up and then you have vibration on the phone, you have your sound, all these things consume battery. So you can go through, like you see on my iPhone, I basically turn everything off except for the thing that I use the most. Facebook, I mostly use it. FaceTime, some people call me on FaceTime. Find my iPhone, I leave it, or I, I always leave it on. Game, not too much, but in this case, I forgot to turn it off. Google, Head, Budge, like most of my things are turned off except from my messages. Messages is important because people test me every day. That's why I have it on. Um, so your uh, notification page might be different from mine because it depends on your application that you have and what kind of application that you use during the day. But you have to go through this and see what exactly you need to turn off to save your battery life, okay? That being said, we can move to the next step. Sound and... Uh, so for the sound, um, for this video, I put it on mute because I don't want people to be calling me too much. And also, if you want, you can uh, remove the vibration on ring. Now, that also will save you tons of battery because for me, for instance, I leave it on because I want my phone to be uh, to vibrate when someone calls me because I don't want to miss any important call. Sometimes when it's in my pocket, I'm driving, I don't hear it too much, but that's why I always leave it on vibration, okay? Other than that, you can decide to change this on, uh, like you can put... Uh, vibrate on ring off so the phone will ring but it's not gonna vibrate right it's one of the most important stuff as well um other than that um what else do we need here we have to go to general and uh, background and app refresh as you can see almost every single one of my applications uh, off because basically I don't want app to be refreshing the background. I know it's important when you come to it, you have the information right there, right away for you to go. But uh, if I don't need some of the application, there's no point that it's supposed to be uh, working in the background, right? So I mostly turn all of them off, except from again some of the most important map I wanted to be uh, working in the background. I don't even know if that helps. Messengers, maybe, you know, but most of them are off really really it's very important for me to turn all this off because most of them i don't use it and even if i use it i want it to work when i'm using it 
so that is also very very important for for me um the next page that we will go will be uh we will go on to the privacy setting this is the most important part that you want to focus on okay location and services as you can see um some of this application uh we you need to to know you don't want them to be always using your location most of them uh, i will uh, always leave on like map actually i've never used it yet that's why i put it on axe but something like that we should be a uh, while using okay and the most important thing that we're going to verify here will be serve uh, system services as you can see system services most of them are off for me except from the emergency call and sos in case i do need to do that find my iphone should be always on in case you lose your phone and uh, for you these three parts should be on okay i because this is this is to help apple not me because they want to to improve their stuff and and all that but uh if they want to i don't want to participate into that because those kind of things consume batteries right it's gonna track you and, and then and then send your information to apple i think so that's why i turn them off right and then um that's pretty much it and if you want more details about whatever is using your your location you can see uh, here with your iphone okay now significant, uh, significant locations uh, i turn it off because this will actually track you wherever you go it's gonna be recording it like in your phone you might see a lot of information down here uh, because i just cleared mine but for you it's gonna be a lot of information like every where you go your iphone will track you now that being said um this information are not sent to apple it stays in your phone but i find it creepy that everywhere i go my phone is keeping track on, on me right so i also turn it off and anytime they keep track on me again is using my battery so that's why i definitely uh turn it off on this page we are mostly done okay um let's continue and see what else we can go analytic and improvement also this one is the same thing as before all this is collecting data and again what does it do with this data i will send it to apple for you for them to improve their service or their system well i don't want to participate into that because it drains my battery so what i did was i turned them all off we go back onto settings here the next thing we want to do will be uh it's on mail on mail as you can see i have three accounts and what i want to do here is this application or uh, uh, this function called fetch fetch for new data so basically what this service does is it's going to automatically always every second go into the server and request if there's any mail it's gonna go every second is he an email is he an email so that way of doing it will also consume a lot of batteries the best thing to do is like if you have multiple uh, accounts like me is whether if you have one main particular email account that you use regularly you might want to set it as push but turn off push if you can or even if you don't but turn it off and then set up uh, automatically here every you can do every 15 minutes every 30 minutes every hour or even manually now that being said if you set this to manually what it does is you're not going to receive any email until you go to the application or any email application that you use to refresh that service so you have to understand that if you put this to manually you will not be receiving any email you have to go all every time to the um to the uh, mail app to be able to retrieve your email but what i recommend is at least every 15 minute or 30 minute or the best is one hour every hour the system will go and fetch the email for me and display it for for me so this will save you tons and tons of batteries okay i quickly want to show you uh, my battery life as you can see my last full charge on this uh battery was a uh, monday at two o'clock okay and today is tuesday we are at 10 o'clock and as you can see my battery life it's um basically 80 percent and that is almost 24 hours okay and screen on time is in one hour and screen off time 34 39 minutes but 
it means that it's working and my battery health is basically I still at 100% and this is uh, the iPhone 11 Pro um, that I'm using okay here on um, brightness you want like it's very important it's for the sake of this video that I put a light but otherwise I always use dark mode dark mode for every a newer generation of iPhone with the OLED display that can turn off all the pixel it is highly recommend you to put it onto dark mode and also you want to put auto lock to to me i always put it in 30 seconds because if i'm using the phone my fingers is constantly pressing the, the phone and it doesn't turn off but for the sake of this video i put it at never so that the screen does not dim on us but other than that i regularly put it at 30 seconds okay so it's very important to, to choose don't just leave your screen uh on for forever this is gonna kill your battery okay and here that is pretty much it. so i'm gonna put this back into a uh, dark mode and it's beautiful i love it that being said that is gonna conclude today's video and i highly recommend you to to follow the steps and make sure that you you you, you decide for yourself these are just uh recommendation from apple and my own observation and how my phone performed very well since i bought this phone i have been in 100 percent and of the battery you have to understand that the battery the way it works is is a cycle like charging your battery will not degrade it because apple even recommend you to charge your battery anytime you're using it but when your iphone goes to one cycle meaning when you charge it from zero to hundred percent and it goes from hundred percent to zero it's one cycle so basically if you charge your phone let's say to up to fifty percent okay and your battery goes to zero and you charge it again that is not a cycle that's called maybe a half cycle because you have not drain the hundred percent of your battery yet so you have to understand that so even if you but you need a charge for 10 minutes go charge it and then that's good the other way to keep your battery safe is to avoid heat conditions don't leave your phone to a hot place right if you leave it in the cold it's not good it's going to drain the battery but that does not affect the battery life but heat will damage your battery okay so if uh you think that i forget any uh, other recommendation please let me know in the comment down below and if you have not subscribed yet please go and subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button and the notification all right that being said this is maxi limit signing out